What's going on guys? It's Alex. I know it's been a long time, but we have some really, really good updates. So first things first, Marceline has reached 3,500 miles on her new build block. I know it's weird that you would think if, if somebody puts a motor together that knows what they're doing, that the motor actually stays together for more than 500 miles and doesn't crack or break or anything weird like that. So that's the good part. So everything here is all good, 2D fruity. We also installed, I don't know if you can see this here, on this line right there. That's the 85 kit from somebody. Um, actually, I got it from Josh. Josh was more than um, gracious to donate the 85 kit to me. And um, we did go to FL2K. You will see some FA2K footage. Actually, let me run the footage right now. As you guys saw, my first run was a 13.6. I didn't launch the car. It was a very bad start. And the car broke up a little bit. We were on our second or third revision for the E85 tune, which talking with some of my friends and Ryan themselves, um, Ryan themselves, Ryan himself, um, I forgot the data log. So again, he, he kind of yelled at me, my bad. But the biggest thing is that I need to get over the fear of breaking stuff and I'm gonna turn the car up more. The biggest thing here is that the car is a premium performance package with the 401A, so it is the heaviest available EcoBoost you can get. Plus, me being in the car doesn't help. However, um, Parker, Zach, and I are on a diet, so I will shed some weight, and then the car will shed some weight. However, let me tell you guys right now, I'm not gonna do this crazy thing like Elport where I'm taking my door panels and my fucking everything out. It's the way that the car sits. I may take a seat out, but I'm not taking everything. I'm putting a cork in or anything like that. The, the main purpose for this car is to be a road course car. So if we can run low 12s, high 11s on the stock turbo, we'll be more than satisfied. But again, the goal is to be good overall around the track. So that way, like I said, we can be competitive in um, time attack. So the tuning process for drag racing versus road racing is a little different. And I, I guess it really shows on the track. However, we're not going to give up because we're going to gap Alport's ass at some point. Um, what else has really changed? Oh, let me show you this right here. This is my new baby. Parker has these available at... um www.parkerperformancefl.com I don't even think they're on the website so if you're interested in getting one of these you will actually ooh, you will actually have to get in touch with Parker Performance on Facebook in order to get one of these which let me see right now right now even we only have one left so if you guys want it Holler at your boy. Um, liveries on the car. Car's filthy. Now, if any of you guys know what this is about, you gotta leave a like because that's some OG stuff. Um, I think I said I'm on E85, right? So is Parker. E85 on deck. What you gonna do? And outside of that, guys, uh, the table's a mess. I kind of cleaned my car a little bit, so 
Parker's not going to be happy about that. But the biggest thing is the car's back, everything's together, and it's back on the street. So if you see the car, or if you see me, well, if you see the car, you're going to see me. Say what's up. Um, a lot of people have been asking where the Mexico stuff is. Mexico stuff is going to come back. It's just um, with the things that happened with um, the previous builder, they were mainly involved in the Mexico type activities. So of course, since I'm no longer affiliated with them, Mexico kind of took a left. But I found a new group and the group is much more about you know doing things. So that'll pick back up shortly. Um, Zach's drift car is going to be on the Parker Performance channel. Um, he's dropping stuff off. What else? We're tuning this car, of course, still. We're also tuning the RTR. Um, everything is being handled by Lund and Purple Drink Tuning. So I can't say anything bad about Lund at all as far as the tuning for Josh's car goes. They are super duper awesome. Ryan, you are... The most understanding person and again i'm sorry that i missed out on the data for you at the track um kevin justin you guys build one hell of a motor and of course without josh zach and um, my supporting family i wouldn't be here so i want to thank you all as well for being subscribers being patient um being excited when the car comes around because it's the little things that make a big impact Especially with you guys as a community and with me as a content creator. I'm I'm not a huge channel Nor am I ever claiming to be I'm not you know, I don't own a super and I don't two-step everywhere But um, this is my passion and This is Parker performance passion and this is what we like to do So I appreciate every single one of you tuning in and watching the videos that just it, it means a lot to us so what's next I don't really know what's next. We wanted to go to the track, but the weather out here is crazy hot. So the moment we have a colder day, we're going to go to the track with um, the RTR. And then in November, late November, or early December, we're going to go to the firm with Marceline and kind of get some shakedowns going. Um, because as of right now, she's still on stock performance pack suspension and springs and sway bars which is already stiffer than what comes on the base model. But again, you can always improve. Like, um, I don't know if you can see up there. Those are some aftermarket sway bars. And then we always have springs in stock. So if there's anything you guys would like to see, um, my buddy Eric got a new car. It's an Infiniti Q50, three liter twin turbo. If you'd like to see that race happen, let me know down below. Um, Marceline is on a mild E85 tune, so it should be an interesting race. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you all, and remember, it's not over until you win. See you guys next time.